Microsoft Windows Defender is on Microsoft Windows 11. So let's take a look at how it looks in Windows 11. I'm going to click on the Start button, then click on Settings. And when Settings opens up, on the left-hand side, I'm going to choose Privacy and Security. And we have Windows Security. Click on that. And Virus and Threat Protection. So we see there's no current threats, which is good although it says that a scan has not been taken place, so that's because this is a brand new Windows 11, and so it hasn't gotten that far yet. However, I can click on Quick Scan, and it will run through all my different files looking for a, a virus. So I'll just click Cancel on that. I can choose my scan options. I can choose a full scan, where I scan every file, or I can choose custom, where I can specifically leave out certain folders or I can choose Microsoft Defender Offline Scan. So basically, uh, this will restart your computer and start your scan before Windows fu fully loads, uh, which is a great idea if the virus won't let you remove it while Windows is running. Click back and take a look at some of the other options here. If you want to allow certain threats, maybe you're a developer and you are testing out some things you can certainly allow that if you'd like so you would see the threats that show up here and then choose to allow them through then you've got protection history which shows you if you had any particular viruses in the past it also allows you to automatic uh, sample submission uh, which right now is turned off in case you wanted to send any viruses that it does get off to Microsoft to be analyzed and you've got the virus and threat protection settings. I'm going to click on manage that. And by default, all these are on, but you can certainly turn them off. But real-time protection basically protects you when files are created, files are opened, uh, files are changed, that kind of thing. And that's a good idea to have on. In some cases, it does cause some slowdowns. I don't recommend you turn it off. However, you can go in and specify specific folders that you don't want to be scanned. And you've got cloud delivered protection to make sure you have the latest antivirus signatures, which you definitely want to have. Automatic sample submission I turned on earlier. And you've got tamper protection. So this prevents others from tampering with important security features. If, you, if something wants to make changes to those uh, tamper protection features, it will prompt you for administrative override. And if you're not an administrator, you won't be able to do that. And then uh, you can either decide to allow it or not to allow it. Here's where you can manage uh, the controlled folder access for specific folders. So if I click on that, I can choose which folders that I would like to make sure don't get affected. And this is the anti-crypto ransomware feature that is built into Windows 11. But by default, a lot of times you're going to see it turned off. So you'll want to turn it back on and then choose your protected folders here. And this is that pop-up that I was mentioning earlier for administrative approval. So when you turn that on, you can see that it specifically will protect uh, folders that will not be able to get encrypted or changed by any type of virus or ransomware. And here are the exclusions. So if you do want to exclude specific folders, as mentioned earlier, so they don't get scanned and they don't uh, have any kind of protection, then you can choose that here. I'll choose a folder. You can also choose a file type as well. So I'll just add the perf logs just as an example. And now we can see this particular folder will not get scanned. If I change my mind on that, I can just click Remove. So those are all the different virus and threat protection settings that you can set up in Microsoft Windows 11.